Hello, this video is about setting up TWS or Trader Workstation or the gateway of interactive brokers to work with API clients. The API client, for example, is the MT IB order copier by Trade Commander or IB plugin. API clients require to connect to TWS or gateway, which then routes to interactive brokers backend so you can place orders with your self created software or with any other API client software getting account information and so on to make this possible go into the settings of TWS same applies for gateway in the settings dialog go on API settings and most important switch here is enable active X which opens a listen socket TCP IP in TWS for incoming API client commands. If you like to place orders or change anything in your account, make sure read only API is unchecked, so off. For API clients by trade commander, also keep download open orders unchecked because this is done anyway by the API client of trade commander. Next important thing is the port number. It should be the same used by the API client to connect to TWS or gateway. If you run multiple TWS, make sure if enable ActiveX is checked, so on, that you provide different ports because every port, as listen port, can only be used once per operating system instance. All the other switches should be fine. If you run TWS in another language than English, then you may see the option here to keep API messages in English and then switch this option on because API clients by Trade Commander evaluate API messages which are essential for a correct working only in English. If you also run the API client on the same machine and you want to and you want to avoid um, permission dialog which um, requires your confirmation to allow the API client to work with TWS then keep this allow connection from lo localhost only checked so you get no dialog raised uh, in between okay that's more or less all if I now click on apply and OK you will see the API client in this case the MTIB order copier connect to TWS now it's connected in most cases it is it happens much faster sometimes there can be a small delay okay it is also possible that you like to connect from another machine than this where is TWS running and in this case you need to set the IP of the external machine as trusted IP this is just possible well, this is only possible when you uncheck this flag and then create the um, go on create and type the IP of the external machine into here. On the external machine to obtain the IP open a website like what is my IP address and then you can see your IPv4 address here and this is the IP which is used in the API settings of TWS to allow external machines to connect to TWS. Okay, first just let's check what happens if we have this flag unchecked, uh, allow connections from localhost only in order to have multiple trusted IPs from external machines here, but also want to connect from a local, uh, from the same machine here to TWS. If I now um, run the uh, copier again, which is an API client, 
and he is doing the oh no it's working okay because I forgot to click on apply when you make any changes here make sure to click apply otherwise it is not getting changed okay run again and now you can see this dialog raised and this dialog um, so this dialog um, requests your permission to allow the API client, in this case the MTIB order copier, copier to connect with TWS. And as you can see, the IP is listed of the machine requesting for access or connection. So in order to allow the machine to connect to TWS, and we just think this is an external API client, you need to add this IP as so-called trusted IP. So this number I type in here is the network IP of this machine. We cannot use 127.0.0.1. This is not working. So you need the network IP in this case. And if I now click on OK and apply and start again the copier, this dialog is not raised any longer, as you can see. So I just show you this because usually you do not need a trusted IP if you run your API client on the same machine as TWS. In this case, it's OK just to check this in order to avoid that dialogue. But sometimes you like to connect from multiple machines to TWS running on a specific machine and for each external machine and for the local host you need to add the IP as trusted IP. Okay, finally allow me to say that we recommend to use always Interactive Broker's time-tested version. You can find the time-tested version if you go on Interactive Broker's homepage, then on Trading Platforms, Download Software, and in the lower right, the offline TWS. If you move over this time-tested version, it has very rare updates is well tested and we use this version only to test our software so it's strongly recommended unless you really need features from newer version which most likely usually is not the case okay thank you for your patience have a good day